Tethers are one of the most unique ways to recover in Smash Bros Ultimate and they bring a variety of mix-ups with a lot of characters. It can be used with some up specials, attacks or by all characters that have a tether grab while using the grab in mid-air. Except for Luigi. Bruh. With this, it's possible that you can throw off your opponent in disadvantage and turn around a disadvantageous position into a favorable one, or even into an instant reversal. Tether cancelling is basically just holding down on your analog stick while your tether is grabbing the ledge. This allows you to freely choose options again and still keep your double jump. What's most important is that you can actually grab the ledge again after you tether cancel. Sounds good, right? Wrong. There is something that most players don't notice when they use tether cancels while recovering and while playing against characters that have this option. In this clip, the top Pokemon trainer player Quid faces off against the number one player in the world, MKLeo. Watch this clip and maybe you notice something that caused Quid to stock here. I would say, without question, the number one Pokemon trainer player. Atelier, I'd love to see you show up in the US yes. and show what you got as well though, because you got some out. stiff competition. That's a call out, I love it. Did you see it? If not, let's take a closer look. Quid gets knocked off stage and uses his tether cancel to mix up MKLeo. But instead, he decides against an offensive option and is forced to retreat back to the ledge. Now it's MKLeo's turn for a ledge trap and he goes for a classic pile of Becker attempt. Which in the end, works out only because of one frame. By using Tether Cancel, Quid actually nerfed his ledge options and made it easier for MKLeo to hit him with back air. But why? Grabbing the ledge after Tether Cancel counts as a re-grab. And re-grabbing the ledge in this game makes you get less invincibility on all of your ledge options. What's most misleading about this is the fact that unlike a normal regrab, you still get your invincibility after grabbing the ledge. This makes players think that they're completely safe, but in reality, their options are as worse as they would be if they regrabbed the ledge. For example, getup attacks lose their invincibility before the hitbox even comes out, and the normal getup you're vulnerable for 7 hefty frames instead of the usual 1 frame, which makes a huge difference in competitive play. Most characters can charge a smash attack and punish 3 or 4 ledge options on reaction. Please help me. Of course, using tether cancels as an offensive mix up is still viable, but using it any other way, at least in recovery situations, is actively nerfing your options and giving the opponent the upper hand. Going back to the example of Kudu and Kaleo, we can see that he tried to use ledge jump, but instead got hit by MKLeo's back air. If Quid didn't use Tether Cancel in that spot, he could have saved 2 frames of invincibility, which in the end would have saved him from Leo's back air, because Leo hit him in the exact frame he was vulnerable, and with his last active frame of his fast full back air. If you play a Tether character, try to avoid using unnecessary Tether Cancels, and if you play against a Tether character, look out for bad Tether Cancels, and use it to your advantage. Maybe you get a game or even a set win off of this. Seriously, it's bad. Let me know if you like videos like these and feel free to like, subscribe and follow me on Twitter at PowerPT and on twitch.tv slash where I stream from time to time. Take care and see you next time.